Hey, hello guys, welcome back. This is Srin Kumar. So in this video, I am going to explain about the UI Path Studio free version in the 2020 years. Okay. So the first point I am going to cover is that how to download the UI Path Studio free latest version for the Windows 10. Then how to install the Studio on the Windows 10 full the step by step. And then how to launch the first time the Studio. Okay. So we are facing some problems like some people have installed the studio and after 60 days in the trial period they are getting some activation of the license problem. Second one is they are getting some other problems related to the process. They are not able to execute the process. So all these problems I am going to fix and I am going to show how you can download and install of the latest UiPath Studio free version. Because if you are preparing for the UiPath certifications, then you should know about the UiPath Studio. So that you can do the practice and the UiPath Studio and easily you can understand about the RPA process, how it works. So before going for these explanations, I want to show you the UiPath Studio, how it looks after the successful installation of the Windows 10. So this is my Windows 10 machine and I have installed the UiPath Studio Pro Community version. This is a completely free version and not for the 60 days, it's a for whole life, it's a free version. You can install on your Windows machine easily. So guys, like, this is the UiPath Studio and the RPA will start from the UiPath Studio. We are going to design our automation framework from this studio and then we are do the execution from the robot and some orchestrator is there. So we are going to publish on the other products. So what, how to use this UiPath studio, I will show you end of this video. But in this video, our basic motive is how to download and install the UiPath studio successfully on your Windows machine. So basically UiPath have the three products. These are the main core products of the UiPath as of now. Studio, Robot and the Orchestrator. Okay. So what is the Studio? Studio is a visual and it's a drag and drop and the code for it. This is that visual, okay, UI things, GUI things and you just need to drag and drop. Like I want to drag and drop for time, I can drag and drop here. In my uh, current, if you want to add this one, this is my flow chart. I will click and this will come. If you want to drag and drop on other activities, you can do here. And you can add the sequence. So these all are the activities, okay, in the UiPath Studio. And we are going to drag and drop. And this is the code free. So open your Google browser or any browser and type the UI path. Okay. This will take you to the UI path official this is your official website www.uipath.com. You click on this one. And this is the UI path home page. Load the UI path studio. You have to go to the product and the solutions. Under this you see the studio. So you can click on the studio. Now you can see this is the studio homepage, your automation canvas, UiPath studio, create your own robot easily, try it. So you click on try it. So now start your UiPath free trial version, okay. So now you can see the free trial period of the always free for the community cloud. For the studio it is the 60 days and this is the enterprises version for the 60 days. But we want always free version for the UiPath Studio because if you are going to download this one, okay, enterprises editions, then it will be for 60 days. And after 60 days, it will be expired and you cannot reinstall on the same machine of the UiPath Studio. You have to buy the license for the studio. So that is a learner and as a known uh, for the personal use, we are not going to buy the license as of now 
so we need always to version so for that what you have to do you just click on this try it under the community cloud so that it will ask you to log in with the ui path with your account if you have already an account then you can log in with your existing account if you don't have then you can log in with your any google or any account whichever one you have and you can easily log in to the ui path community cloud version so this is the community cloud version and here you can see this is the page home page and these are the services so after seeing this screen you come to this side and here you can see design your workflow in ui path studio so now you can see the download studio button is there so you click on the download button studio and then it will start downloading the ui path studio setup.exe this is the ui path setup.exe it will start downloading i already have this setup so to install this setup on your windows machine you just double click on it and to save your time i am going to show you a screenshot so this is the screenshot first and this is the next screenshot after that you will see the list let's activate this one so this is the community license to so start free no license key required start free this is the start free version add the license key if you have the license key you can enter license key you have to select the first option community license start free no license key required then say next and it will say the loading the licensing after that you have to select the profile so ui path studio pro community ui path studio x community so for as a personal use and learning purpose we are going to install this ui path studio pro community version so you just say next now in the next window it will ask you to select the source control support so if you have the git swain and tfs you just check all these things because you will use in, in the coming videos how to use there is some separate video how to use the git swain and tfs and how to integrate with the ui path so you just keep it as it is if they are not selected you just select it and say continue now choose the update channel so you want the stable and that update or every time you want the update so you just select the stable version for this and then say next so now you can see this is a ui path studio and you use the welcome message to the studio and if you want to learn you can click one by one uh, or else you can just close it so here i'm going to close it So guys, this is the UI Path Studio Pro Community window. You can see this is the new window. After the successful installation of the UI Path Studio on your Windows machine, okay. So this is the open. Means if you have the already existing any uh, UI Path uh, project, you can open directly from there. But we are the new, so we are going to create a new project. So this is the start button. Okay, in the start you can see the open a local project and uh, clone and check out the local uh, project from the Git PFS and the SPN repository. And then we have the team. So clone repository. Uh, you can the clone any repository, Git repository. If your uh, a project is already available at the Git, then you can easily clone it into uh, the ui path studio for the and the tfs and the spn so depends on you so as a beginner so we are not going to touch this one and this time we'll show the tools so what are the tools available here we will use 
uh, in our UiPath Studio. I want to tell you guys the UiPath Studio basically we will use to design the automation scripts. Uh, okay. So this is a UI part and through the UI we can design our automation script and the flow. Okay, and then these, these are the tools available and I will show you how to use these tools in the upcoming video series. And this is setting all about the general settings, language, language you want to select, design, okay, uh, save and the publish, design, executions, output console size, 2000 lines per uh, so keep it as a default you no need to change anything here okay and if you see the license and if you the edit license nothing if you want any help you can take the help of this one okay so now we are going to the start and the start we are going to open a local app project so the, here is the new project so in this new project we have the three things process library and the test automation and if you come down the new from the template orchestration process background process and new mobile testing project that we will see later we, we, are, we are not going to choose uh, any one of them so we want to start with the process okay the blank to design a new automation process how we can design a process uh, go to start and then go to the new project and you choose the uh, process okay so I use a process so you can give the name of the new process like test UI part demo process and this is going to store the location because the script we are going to design for the process it is going to store at this location so you can see this is the demo and just click it then it will start creating the process project for you in the ui path studio it is taking time because it's restoring some dependencies so you can see it is restoring the dependency make sure your uh, internet connection is on and it should be in the good uh, speed okay guys so this is the design window and this is the home window okay and this is design window and this is a debug window so i am going to explain each and everything you don't need to worry about this and how to use this ui path studio community edition so open main workflow what is the workflow or what is the file these are the like shortcuts and these are the dependencies it has downloaded for us basically for excel activities mail activities system activities and ui automation so basically i will explain each and everything in the next video series and this is the main.xml project projections we have created the one project and what all the activities like uh, i want to give the one Excitement thing that I want to open my browser. Open, open browser. Okay. So it will first. So it will find the. Okay. Then I have to go to the project. Then go to the activities. Sorry guys, you have to go to the activities. And in the activities, you just say open browser so now you can see one activity is there so we are this is the direct activity we can use for the ui automation so this is my project okay <laughs>